The Xbox One is pretty short on exclusives at the moment. One game that is up Microsoft's arsenal that we still haven't seen this generation though is Fable. Could that be about to change? If you follow the games industry at all, there's a good chance you've heard the name Peter Molyneux. Molyneux is one of the most experienced and well-known games developers in the business, responsible for some genuine classics like Dungeon Keeper, Black and White, and Theme Park. But Molyneux is also quite a divisive character, known for his over-promising and under-delivering on his games. He's maybe best known for his work on the Fable series for Microsoft's Xbox, with the now defunct studio Lionhead. The last main entry we got in the Fable series was Fable 3 all the way back in 2010. Molyneux left Lionhead in 2012 and then Fable Legends happened. Fable Legends was a co-op RPG in development at the now Molyneux-less Lionhead but that was cancelled in March of 2016 when Microsoft decided to shut down the studio for good. So no more Molyneux, no more Lionhead, no more Fable. The series isn't dead though with head of Xbox division Phil Spencer saying that E3 to 2016 that the series could still have a future and this week the possibility of a Fable 4 was actually reignited after an Xbox Live API leak which included a Fable related project with the codename Wisdom in development at an unidentified UK studio. Well on Saturday an ex-Lionhead lead engine programmer Don Williamson said this on Twitter. Hmm okay having no inside information I totally know who's building Fable 4 now interesting choice dot 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 that tweet was quickly deleted and followed by another which read quote deleted previous tweet because people seem to think i have some knowledge of something that may or may not be happening whereas all i have is speculation website wccf tech asked williamson on twitter if the studio he had mentioned was based in brighton to which he responded quote there's nobody here in brighton that could take on a task of that magnitude that's not a no though is it i mean let's be honest what he's saying is that nobody here is capable of of doing a fable. Whether or not they were chosen to do it, I, I, that's that's unclear. Also, he's been very coy in general. Like, the first tweet comes out, he's like, oh, I totally know who's doing it, and then he deletes that very quickly, and then goes, actually, I don't know anything, I was just speculating, and now he's saying, oh, there's no one in Brighton who could do this job. So, it's all this is just kind of up in the air rumour and speculation at this point, but um, it's interesting to pay attention to what he said, because he has decided to say something in the first place, so it is worth noting at the very least. So that tweet would seem to eliminate Electronic Square, a Brighton-based studio which we know is working on a game for Microsoft, which then kind of leaves Forza Horizon developer Playground Games as the other major candidate. Now, Playground have been posting job openings on their website for development on a AAA open world RPG. Their game Forza Horizon, as pointed out by WCCF Tech, is the only 90 plus rated game on Metacritic published by Microsoft Studios. Another interesting development is a job listing with Playground for a senior games designer that recently replaced the previously used words all new with exciting large scale when describing the project. This would be the first open world RPG the studio has developed, but it wouldn't be the first studio to move genres quite dramatically like this. Just take a look at Horizon Zero Dawn, a brand new IP and one of the highest rated games of last year developed by Guerrilla Games, a studio who'd previously only ever done linear first person shooters. Yeah, so the signs are kind of pointing at Forza Horizon developers playground making Fable 4, which to me isn't as crazy as a lot on the surface of it oh my god they only made they've only made driving games what are they gonna how are they gonna handle fable you start looking into it and it's and it's not that impossible like forza horizon does have open world rpg-ish elements to begin with guerrilla games i mean they managed to make horizon zero dawn which is like peak triple a open world that's as triple a open world as it gets it's like followed the rule book exactly and produced this excellent game as a result and all they did was hire people from outside they hired the specialists in to help them do it. So it's it's not yeah. beyond the realms of possibility for me. It could be done, they just need a, um, a story writer because driving games, not well known for their stories, let's be honest, but Fable is one of those that is. So yeah, you can hire the staff in and m maybe you've got a, a decent team to be able to pull it off. And there's definitely gonna be some anxiety around this. I know Jake in the office, for example, is pretty anxious about it as far as I'm aware because Fable is Lionhead. Lionhead was one of these studios that you'd kind of look at as, as a kid going, oh, it'd be so great to work there. They had, <laughs> they had this great charm, they had this great kind of British sense of humor there. And only Lionhead could make Fable. As, as far as games related to the studios that made them, that is a very close relationship. So it's going to be difficult if this is the case, um, but you know, I'm still holding out hope, I think. When it comes to that clue, them changing the job description from all new to um, open, large open world, I mean, is that a clue or is that people just reading into it too much? I mean, I mean, I mean Fable 4 confirmed, obviously. That's all the evidence I need. <laughs> 
So what do you reckon? Is Fable 4 a realistic proposition? Can you think of any better studios who are up for the job? Let us know down in the comments down below. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out another video on your screen there. Support us on Patreon if you're awesome. We'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye for now.